time for another weekly reset. Hello team, as said, it is time to get myself organized for the week ahead, so that I might approach it in a cool, calm and collected manner. Or at least, not as a scatterbrained mess. The purpose of the reset is to make sure that I know what is coming up in the week ahead, so where I need to be, and what I need to do. All that jazz. I do very much treat this like a self-care activity, so trying to make it as enjoyable as possible. So the first thing we're gonna do is get a nice drink. Got my drink, now it's time to put on my reset playlist. Today I'm listening to my clean up your house playlist, because it's upbeat, and that's what I feel like. And with the music picked out, now it's time to tidy up my desk. The reason that I like to start by tidying up my desk is just so that I don't have any physical clutter to distract me from doing the reset. I find that having a whole bunch of stuff on my desk around me when I'm trying to do my reset is super distracting and means that the entire process will just end up taking longer. Once the desk is tidy though, I can then start the reset process by doing an initial brain dump. For my brain dump today, I'm going to be doing it in my current weekly, just because I have this really large space here that I can use for that brain dump. So I'll just jot everything down in this tasks column, but won't assign it to a day of the week. While the desk tidying was to get rid of physical clutter, this initial brain dump is very much to deal with my mental clutter. So getting rid of any thoughts or tasks that I have floating around in my head, getting them down on paper so that they don't distract me from the rest of the reset process. Like I said, that initial brain dump really just helps me kind of clear my mind out so I don't have any thoughts, tasks, all of that swimming around up there, taking up mental real estate when I'm trying to do other parts of the reset. Getting them all out on paper so they don't distract me. After this, we're on to reviewing my open tasks. The nice part about having the brain dump done on the same weekly that I'm currently working on is that reviewing my open tasks, very straightforward because they are right here. Let's see, I did start working on my laundry today. I've at least washed and dried my clothes. Like they're still in the dryer, so I haven't put them away yet, but hopefully we'll get there before we go to bed this evening. My carbon chem printing has to move because I don't know how many kids are sitting the test yet. Add meals to meal cheat sheet. That one needs to be moved across. Unpack suitcase. <laughs> Despite getting back from Melbourne approximately four weeks ago, I still haven't done that. Bathroom tidy, kinda, but no. Unboxing shampoo stuff needs to happen. Withdrawing my chem students needs to happen. My moderation, like we've done the moderation, I just need to fill out the document. I need to give a prize to one of my kids. Setting up my content planner for next month. Yeah, I need to do that. Mm. House music, schedule, writing chapter titles, yeah. So all of the ones that I have as being open, I'm pretty sure are still open. We're filming the weekly reset, so there's that at least. We did some filming of my June setup today, so that's good. 90 day goals needs to happen, weekly number four needs to happen. Your Bujo review, I have done that one. Notebook stash, I... Crossed out in full, accidentally. Vogel setup still needs to happen. Review string and space needs to happen. I forgot to get Rachel to leave her journal with me on Butcher Wednesday. Oof, God, I've been apocalyptically poor at filling in my habits. I haven't been very good with checking in with my journal this week, if I'm completely honest. So that's why a lot of this is kind of not filled in. Moving now into the middle of the reset, the first task of which is to do an inbox zero. So this is very much my email inboxes, making sure that those emails are filtered into the places they need to be or turned into tasks that I can then put on the brain dump. After this, I then check in with the various other places that I like to put information. So places like my calendar or my other journals, that kind of stuff. Since doing my proper inbox zero a couple of weeks ago, keeping my inbox fairly clutter free has been pretty straightforward. But as I go through those emails and get rid of anything that shouldn't be there and, and sort anything that needs to be in other places, I can add tasks to that brain dump. The next thing we have here is to check in with my calendar, check my plans, check my yearly collections journal, and as part of this I also want to check my content planner just so I know what's coming up. Starting with the content because that's kind of easy. I'll just put a dot point that says content. That'll be 
nice way to summarize it. We have the weekly reset, obviously, because that's what we're doing right now. My June setup. We have the 90 day goals video, our live planning, Rachel's journal, Vogel's journal, and the review of your Bujo. Also need to get Vogel a present, his birthday's coming up. The brain dump is looking nice and full. So now we're kind of into the end section of the reset, which is very much about organizing those tasks or sorting through them so that they can go in the places they need to go. So transferring things to my someday maybe list, to my wish list, other places in my long-term collection journal, and in particular, probably the most important, onto my weekly setup for next week. Having a quick scan through of my list for pretty much all of these, they're gonna go on my next week's weekly, but some of them do need to go into the someday maybe list. For instance, the old a o boxes, selling the oven and the desk, getting a toaster and a kettle, the and you journaling, but everything else will be happening next week. So we'll just transfer those ones into the someday maybe list. Because my next week's weekly isn't actually set up yet, I can't transfer those tasks over, but they are ready to go when the weekly is set up. Now as things are where they need to be, and given that during the reset process my desk kind of gets a bit messy again, I am going to have to re-clean up all of this. Making sure that all my pens are away where they should be, putting any journals back where I like to store them, all that jazz. Yay for knowing what I need to do and where I need to be. As I said, my weekly reset process is very much a self-care activity, so I like to finish it up by going and doing something small but enjoyable for myself. And I think today I'm gonna go and pester Vogel to pay attention to me. Love me. I'd love to hear about one thing that you're doing for yourself today and drop it in the comments below so that we can celebrate taking care of us. As always team, thank you for watching and until next time, bye. Party. Ch <laughs> ch